welcome back to the channel as you know on this channel we talk everything books nursing medicine and university related um today i'm going to talk about a book that i'm reading for my course everybody knows i'm on a course at the moment and it's called the philosophy book big ideas simply explained and no i'm not doing a course in philosophy but i'm doing a course in education and as you know, education is linked with philosophical, philosophical ideas and philosophical ideas are closely linked to religion, for those who didn't know. So I'm going through this book and I found a, um, should I say, an English philosopher called John Locke. Um, so I'm just going to quickly talk about, can I ask, can you do that? I'm just going to quickly talk about John Locke's philosophical ideas. Um, so John Locke was born in 1632 and he died in 1704. Now he was a very rich man. He came from a very wealthy family. And um, there was two times that he had to leave the UK or leave England at the time as it was because everybody was against him and his ideas. Now, I don't fully agree with his ideas, but you know, we, we're we living in a society where people feel if you don't agree with what they are saying and they're doing, then you're against them. But that's not the way how life is. Your friends, your family, your associates, your colleagues should be able to disagree with you and your ideas, and you're still friends, and you're still colleagues, and you're still close, and you're still husband and wife, you know? So basically, he came from a branch of philosophy called epistemology and epistemology is knowledge is a knowledge-based um, philosophical idea and he came from um or he had the same ideas as all the philosophers such as berkeley and Hume, and they were empiricists and with empiricists empiricists are generally thought to hold the view that all human knowledge comes from directly or indirectly from your experiences so it comes from the things that you do in life like say for instance you hop on a plane and you go to thailand and you learn new things so your knowledge come from the things that you have experienced now um, philosophers like plato thought that knowledge was innate 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 so i n n a t so they thought knowledge was innate it means that they thought that you were born with that knowledge that you have so they believe in reincarnation um, plato believed that when you die your soul goes into another soul such as a baby who's just been born but because of the trauma of that soul transferring then what happens is you you lose your knowledge but it's there somewhere now i don't believe in reincarnation i don't believe that your soul goes into another human being and i also don't believe that you're born with knowledge i think knowledge is created yes based on experiences as well but not only on experiences you can learn things from your family members from your mom your dad your granny whomever it is you tend to learn your ideas from them as well and a lot of ideas that we learn from our family are usually ideas on spiritual ideas and concepts like you'd say i'm christian but i am catholic or i'm muslim but I'm shit Muslim. So these are your ideas and your concepts. I wanted to read this about the rationalists. The rationalists believe in innate ideas. So when rationalists believe that we're born with some ideas and concepts and they are innate, but this is not born out of fact. Two things, there are no truths that are found in anyone at birth. There are no universal ideas found in people of all cultures at all times and this is important so they're saying here that there's no truth when you're born that means there's no ideas and concepts and thoughts when you're born you develop those ideas and concepts then they say there's no universal ideas whether it's cultural or it's religious nothing is universal so what you'll find is one catholic might do this and another catholic might do something totally different i actually love that i don't believe we should be sheeps 
we should not be all doing the same thing. So everything we know is gained from experience. However, we're living in the 21st century. We're no longer in the 17th century, the 18th century. We're now in the 21st century and we have the internet. And so not everything is gained from experience. Some ideas, concepts and knowledge are gained from the viewing of other people's material. It could be viewed as experience because if you turn your phone on, it's an experience to watch a, a documentary or to watch these things. You know, even to watch my, my, my um, content, it's an experience as well. So maybe there's something in that. I wanted also to read this. It says, language as innate. Although Locke may reject the doctrine of innate ideas, he does not reject the concept that human beings have innate capacities. Important here. Indeed, the possession of capacities such as perception and reasoning are central to his accounts of the mechanism of human knowledge and understanding. So basically, he's saying here that language is something that you are born with. You pick it up from birth. You pick up ideas and concepts in, in language and your capacities and stuff. So, but I believe more. Listen to this statement. This is my reasoning. As the mind is a blank canvas, let's say at birth, Locke believes that anybody can be transformed by good education. On that encourages rational thought and individual talents. So he believes, and this is the point that I want to draw from all of this that I've spoken about, that anyone can learn anything and do anything from an education. So basically, once you teach someone to do something, they will grasp that and that will help them to become talented individuals. So I'm going to leave you with that note. And I want you to think that at any time, if you think you're not good enough, you're not doing well, just remember that the gaining of knowledge is important because it makes you into the individual that you want to be. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And maybe I'll share another philosopher from my book. Um, John Locke draw my attention, but other people have drawn my attention in here and I will share that. Have a good day. Bye.